Bree, wake up! <gasps> Where am I? You fell asleep in this broom closet. You missed the whole costume contest. Oh man, I'm just so tired. I haven't been sleeping all week. I've been too scared. But hold on, you think there's a monster in your room? It's time for a brand new adventure with Drew Pendis and his mighty pen ultimate. In today's story, Drew and his friends are dressed to thrill. Things were getting kind of fun and spooky at Cool School. Everybody was hanging up decorations and carving pumpkins. And most importantly, we got ready for the costume contest. Ooh, let's do something as a group. We've totally got to win this year. What should we do? Let's not be monsters. I don't want to be scared. What if you're the monster, Robbie? Then you won't be scared of any of us. As long as I don't look in a mirror, that could work. You can be Frankenstein's monster. I'll be Dr. Frankenstein. Nikki, you can be Igor. I'll be the Bride of Frankenstein. Let's get started drawing and painting these costumes. Let's do it. Meanwhile, Cruel School was also getting ready. Although they always, always look kind of spooky. I want us to do vampire costumes. I think we should be werewolves. No, we should be zombies. What about unicorns? They're so pretty. The more time we spend arguing, the less time we have to make these costumes. Ugh, as much as I hate to say it, Ray is right. We need to just pick one. Fine, we could be vampires, but only if I get to I be- I get to be Dracula. Dibs, I called it. No fair. Too bad. I'll be Dracula, and you can all be my vampire bat sidekicks. Can Dracula have a unicorn sidekick too? No unicorns, Timmy. Wait, Ella, you need one more thing. Perfect. And now it's time for our monster. Nice job. How do I look? Great, want me to draw a mirror? No, 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 I trust you. Now it's time to work on our act. Do you guys know how to sing Putting on the Ritz? Meanwhile, the Cruel School gang was getting dressed in their costumes, but <sighs> something wasn't right with Ray. Are you okay, Ray? You seem tired. I'm fine. Somebody help me put on my cape. I can barely move my arms with these wings tied to them. It's driving me batty. This was not a good idea. Finally, it was the night of the big costume party. Dean Mean, are you supposed to be a kitty cat? No, I'm a lion. The costume shop was sold out of manes and fangs, okay? All right, everyone, settle down. It's time to start the show. First up, the kindergartners. Oh. Ah, I can't help it. They're too cute. I have to give them a nine out of 10. I told you guys we should have been unicorns. So the costume contest continued. There were mummies and wizards. And nobody was quite sure what Frankie was dressed as. But then it was time for Drew and his friends. Welcome to my lab. I'll just draw some switches. Igor, flip the switch. It's alive! Ah, Frankenstein! Actually, Frankenstein was the name of the doctor, not the monster. Oh, I didn't know that. Happy, Happy Halloween. Halloween! Great special effects. Excellent craftsmanship. Actually, a little scary. 10 out of 10. Great job, guys. Let's take a selfie. Look how great we look. Yeah, I didn't want to see myself. I'm a monster. Ah. And now it's time for Ray and friends from Cruel School. This better be good. we were just making ghost sounds. This is terrible. Where's your Dracula? Where's Ray? I don't know. He just disappeared. Ugh, just keep flapping those wings. Sorry, kids. You're missing your star. That means the winner is Drew and Friends from Cool School. Aw, thanks, everybody. Sorry if anyone got scared, especially me. What happened out there? 
Ray disappeared right before the show. So lame. Grr, when I find him, he's getting detention for the rest of the year. Scratch that, the rest of every year. Hey guys, is Ray all right? Who cares? We lost because of him. He's still your friend. You should be worried if he's missing. Whatever, I'm going home to eat candy and feel better. Well, I want to make sure he's okay. I'm going to look for him. Ray, are you around here? Hmm. Ray, wake up! <gasps> Where am I? You fell asleep in this broom closet. You missed the whole costume contest. Oh, man. I'm just so tired. I haven't been sleeping all week. I've been too scared. Why? What are you scared of? I can't tell you. You'll make fun of me. How about this? I'll tell you something that I'm scared of, and you can tell me what you're scared of. We'll say it at the same time. Deal? Okay. One, two, three. There's a monster orange in my juice. Room. Wait, what? You're afraid of orange juice? I hate the pulp. It just tastes so weird. But hold on. You think there's a monster in your room? Yeah. Every night when I'm trying to fall asleep, I start hearing footsteps. It's so scary. I haven't slept in days. Okay, I have an idea. I'll come over to your house for a sleepover tonight. If there's a monster in your room, we'll catch it. Really? You would help me? Sure, let's catch that monster. <clears throat> Uh-oh, kids. What's going to happen? Is there actually a monster in Ray's bedroom? Will you be able to catch it? What do you think will happen next? See you soon. See you then. It's time for a brand new adventure with Drew Pendus and his Mighty Pen Ultimate! Previously on Cool School, Ray thinks there's a monster in his room. Now Drew is going over to Ray's house for a sleepover to help him catch the monster. Let's see what happens next. Okay, Drew, we're almost there. Now don't get into any trouble. That Ray Blank can be a bad influence. Don't worry, Mom. We're just gonna play some games, watch some TV. We are definitely not trying to capture a monster in the middle of the night. What? Nothing. Thanks for letting my friend Drew have a sleepover tonight. Of course, Ray. Now remember that Drew Pendus can be a good influence, so don't learn anything nice from him. You're supposed to be a bad guy. Don't worry. I promise I won't learn to be nice. He's here! Hi, Mrs. Pendus. Hi, Ray. Hope you boys have fun tonight. Ew, Mom, you're embarrassing me. That's part of my job. Now I'll pick you up tomorrow. I love you. Wow, Ray, your house is pretty cool. Bad guys don't have houses. We have lairs. Nice to meet you, Mr. Blank. Please, call me Mel. Dinner time, everyone. Uh-oh, since you're evil, do you eat gross things for dinner? I don't want to eat bugs. Here you go, Drew. Oh, spaghetti. That's good. Yep, I stole it from a kid in the park. Did he cry? Sure did. <laughs> Come on, Drew. Let's eat up so we can catch that monster. What? Nothing. Okay, Ray, tell me exactly what's been going on. I always like to have a glass of milk next to my bed before I go to sleep. But every night, after the lights go out, I hear footsteps. So I hide under the covers. Then when I wake up in the morning, the glass of milk is empty. It's a monster. I just know it. Hmm, that's weird. But this time, we'll be ready. Looks like we're out of milk. Oh well, this will have to do. Ah, orange juice! Get that away from me! Oh yeah, I forgot. You're afraid of orange juice. The pulp just tastes so weird, all right? Well, too bad. We're both facing our fears tonight. Let's go. Okay, fine. Let's be brave. Drew took out his mighty penultimate and turned into... The Stupendous Stupendous! Here's the plan. I'll draw a decoy in your bed. Then we'll hide behind that jug and see what happens. Is that what you think I look like? It doesn't have to look perfect. Let's get this under your covers. Then turn off the lights. And now we'll keep watch. You've really got to clean your room, Ray. Shh. Any minute now, I promise. Ray, it's been a while. Are you sure something's gonna happen? Look, the closet door. A monster. 
I told you. Okay, you've got this. Time for a big scare. But first, a glass of milk. <laughs> Bleh! Orange juice with pulp? Ah! Now! Gotcha! Ah! I'm scared! Wait, you're scared? But you're a monster! I know, but I'm not scary enough. Yeah, you do look kind of cute. Cute? Oh no! I'm a failure! What do you mean? I'm just a kid in monster school. I've got to scare a certain number of people to earn my stripes. You know, because monsters with stripes are always scarier. Have you been drinking my milk every night? Yeah, my mom says that milk makes you big and strong. I'm tiny and cuddly, so I thought some milk would help. Listen to my roar! Roar! See? Not scary at all. So you're just a kid like us? Doing well in school is tough. I get it. And you just want to grow up. Here, I'll draw some milk for you. Gee, thanks. Now I just need to find somebody to scare so I can get a good grade. If I fail another scaring test, I could get detention. You get detention too? I know what that's like. Okay, I've got somebody who could really use a good scare. Oh, Mama, I hope you're proud of me. I'm trying so hard to be a good dean, and I just want Miss Booksy to respect me. Here goes nothing. Ah, monster! Yes, earn my stripes. It worked. More of the story, kids. Don't be scared of monsters. They probably just want some milk. Oh, and when it comes to orange juice, pulp isn't so bad. It's really not. Voila! My masterpiece! I'm not really sure what inspired me. There's just something about it that I really like. Hey! Uh, guys? This is not cool. I think these pumpkins are possessed. Maybe by that giant evil pumpkin? Ah! It's time for a brand new adventure with Drew Pendus and his mighty penultimate! In today's episode, Drew's got to fight the bad guys and save Halloween. Or should we say, Halloween? It was the morning of Halloween at Cool School, and Drew and his buddies were getting ready for the annual pumpkin craft competition. Come on, kids. Time to pump out those crafts. Or, uh, craft out those pumpkins. Okay, let's crown our pumpkin crafting champion. Nikki, you're up first. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you my scientifically perfect atomic pumpkin. Does nobody read their science textbooks before bed? You know, like atoms, all set together to make a molecule. And this is the nucleus, of course. Oh my, how creative. Huh? That's so weird. Pumpkins take weeks to get old and moldy. My pumpkins were fresh and new. Alrighty, next up, Drew Pendis will share his pumpkin craft creation. Attention, Cool School! In all of Halloween history, there has never been a pumpkin superhero until now. Ooh! Ew! That can't be! It was orange a minute ago! Oh dear. Okay, well, Robbie, would you like to go next? Voila! My masterpiece! I'm not really sure what inspired me. There's just something about it that I really like. Hey! Uh, guys? This is not cool. I think these pumpkins are possessed. Maybe by that giant evil pumpkin? Ah! So Drew, Nikki, and Robbie made their way to the giant spooky pumpkin. Okay, I like pumpkins and all, but there's such a thing as too much pumpkin. It's totally against all known science. Something's not right here, guys. Okay, we need a plan. Ah. Shh. Quiet, Robbie. Why are we still here? That is an extra scary pumpkin. Wait a sec, that's it. So Drew quickly sketched himself a super scary Halloween costume. <gasps> it's Halloween, and that means scare power. That evil pumpkin thinks he can scare us, but well, we're going to scare him right back. Ah! Hey, it worked. I actually scared a pumpkin. That's pretty cool, but also kind of strange. 
Well, if it isn't the color thief herself, Grace Kale, I should have known. Shh, Timmy, keep it down before you like ruin everything, Scaredy Pants. Ah! 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 I knew hiding like in a giant pumpkin was a bad idea. So you're the one stashing all of her orange color in this giant pumpkin? Drew? Drew sketched himself a pair of rocket boots and raced right after Grace. Wait, don't leave me here. Wait for me. Like, hmm. give it up, Drew. That color belongs to me. Why do you want to steal all of her pumpkin color anyway? Because everyone at Cruel School is like sick of losing to Cool School every year. Dean Mean always gives us moldy pumpkins. So like me and the gang decided to grab the color of your fresh new pumpkin so like we can win once and for all. Nice orange this year, don't you think? You can't win by stealing all of her color. That's not fair. Uh, we're villains, Drew. That's kind of like how we roll. Oh, no, you don't. Drew quickly sketched a high-powered pumpkin shooter and started shooting pumpkins right at Grace. Like, better luck next time. Ouch! Ugh, next Halloween, we will be meaner than, like, ever. Ugh! This year's Halloween pumpkin carving competition is Robbie with his personal clown pumpkin. You think it looks like me? I don't see it. I hereby award you this gigantic pumpkin pie. Oh my, I want to thank my mom who gave me a love of pumpkins. It's helped to make me who I am today. Thanks, mom. Yay, you did it, Robbie. And now it's time to celebrate. Everybody dig in. Well, kids, Drew saved the day once again. Pumpkins were back to being orange, and Halloween was mean no more. Moral of the story, boys and girls, be sure to carve super cool pumpkin crafts with bright orange pumpkins this year. Oh, and don't forget to eat pumpkin pie. It's delicious. Eek, what is this? I think it's slime. Gross. This place could really use a maid. Look, there's our frisbee on the table. That's my frisbee now! Ah! It's time for a brand new adventure with Drew Pendus and his mighty pen ultimate. Hey everybody, get ready for some scary stories. Thanks to everybody who sent in their ideas. They were pretty spooky. And that's when the girl realized it wasn't a roast beef sandwich, it was a ghost beef sandwich! Ah! Yeah, too scary! Phew, that was a spooky story, Joy. Okay, who else has a good one? I'll go next. This is a story that I've heard from my friend, Kiana. It's about a clown ah. who steals everyone's candy! Double ah! Once upon a time, there was a birthday party, and at that birthday party was Flippy Dippy the Clown. And for my next trick, juggling. Hey, come on, look everybody, I'm on a unicycle. Hey, over here, over here, balloon animals. Hello? Pay attention to me! And that's when Flippy Dippy the Clown started to go a little mad. Oh, so you're gonna ignore our Flippy Dippy, eh? Don't think my tricks are funny, huh? Well, I'll show you something funny. We'll see who's laughing when I steal your candy on Halloween. <laughs> so Halloween came, and all the kids were out trick-or-treating. It was the best night of the year, except for that one house that gives out healthy snacks. Trick or treat. What an adorable costume. Here you go. What? A banana? It's good for you. Everyone was having a great time until. Ah! <laughs> it is I, Flippy Dippy the Clown. Remember me? No. Have we met before? Yes, you were sitting right in the front row with the birthday party. How could you have forgotten? Not ringing any bells. Ah. This is exactly my point. Give me that candy. So Flippy Dippy went around Boom. scaring everybody ah. and taking their candy. <laughs> this is delicious. Boo! Ah. A banana? Yuck! 
And then Flippy Dippy saw a familiar face. Aha! The birthday boy! Didn't think I was funny, did he? Well, let's see who has the last laugh. Pay attention to Dippy! Wow! <laughs> that was hilarious! You think that's funny? That was so funny! Uh, okay. Ta-da! And for my next trick... And it turned into the best Halloween ever. The end. That was great. I don't know. I thought the part with the clown was kind of creepy. The part? The whole story was about a clown. Exactly. Okay, now it's my turn. I have a story that I heard from my friend Madison Birkin. It's a story about a monster with 109 eyes. Once upon a time, there were two friends playing Frisbee. They were having a ton of fun, until... Oh no, it flew through the window. No worries, let's go get it. We can't do that. Don't you know about that house? What about it? It's haunted. Legend has it that there's a monster who lives in there. A monster with 109 eyes. What? Don't be ridiculous. 109 eyes? How'd they even come up with a number like that? Exactly. Why not 10 eyes or 20 eyes? 109 is such a specific number that it has to be true. No way. I don't believe it. Come on. We'll just knock and see if the nice people inside can give us back our frisbee. Huh, guess it's open. Goop. Let's just get our frisbee and get out. We'll be done in no time. Eek, what is this? I think it's slime. Gross. This place could really use a maid. Look, there's our frisbee on the table. That's my frisbee now! Ah! It's the monster with 109 eyes. One, two, three, four. No time for that. Let's go. Get back here. Do you think we lost it? I'll check. Eek! Where did you kids go? Come out, come out, wherever you are! Wait a minute. It doesn't see me. Not all of the eyes are real. They're googly eyes stuck on with glue. <laughs> hey, that tickles! Ah! Uh-oh. You don't have 109 eyes. Just a lot of googly eyes. Okay, fine. I just love arts and crafts, all right? Other monsters used to make fun of me. They said that having only one eye wasn't very scary. So I tried to give myself as many eyes as I could. And googly eyes are so much fun. They really are. Why did you want our Frisbee? I thought it would make a great arts and crafts project. You could put on stickers, maybe attach some tassels. <gasps> That's such a fun idea. Our frisbee is pretty boring. Come on, let's work on it together. Okay! So the two kids and the monster did a craft project together. And when they were done, they had an awesome frisbee catch together. The moral was... Googly eyes make everything better! The end. Oh man, thank goodness that story is over. I was so scared, I didn't know if I could take any more. What about you, Robbie? Do you have a spooky story? I sure do, and it's super short, but it will scare your socks off. Think you can handle this? We're ready. Okay, I heard this one from my friend Tails. One day, the Wi-Fi went out. Oh ah! no! Okay, I'm done. Yeah, too scary for me. Let's take a break and have some toasted marshmallows. Or like ghosted marshmallows. Ah! It's time for a brand new adventure with your stupendous trupendous and his mighty pet ultimate. Now get ready for a scary good time because in today's adventure, Drew's gonna save Cool School from 
nightmares. Ah, uh, ah, uh, help. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Bobby, wake up. It's okay. You're just having a bad dream. What? Huh? Drew? Where am I? Ooh, you're at cold school, Bobby. And I was just showing the class how to build this glittery... Oops. Oh, I guess I didn't put that together too well. What's going on here? Crafty Kale's traps never break. I'm sorry, kids. I haven't been sleeping much lately. This doesn't make any sense. It's morning time. We're supposed to be wide awake. Why is everyone so sleepy? I've been kept awake all night with super scary nightmares. I thought they'd go away when I came to cool school, but looks like they followed me here too. Same here. I was up all night. I hid in my closet till the morning came. Uh-oh, kids. There was something really spooky going on at cool school. <gasps> no, not that. That's just Crafty Carol's puppy, Barky. Mark, come here. Mark, Mark. Come to mommy. Mark. As I was saying, there was something spooky going on at cool school that was causing all these terrible, totally terrifying nightmares. And Drew was gonna get to the bottom of it. I gotta figure out how to stop these crazy nightmares before they make everyone at cool school the sleepiest, scaredest people ever. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Would somebody wake the poor boy? Wait, not yet. I have an idea. I'm going to build a portal right into Bobby's nightmare. Then I'll be able to figure out what's causing it. To find out how to stop the nightmares, Drew would have to go inside people's dreams. Drew whipped out his mighty pet ultimate and sketched a dream portal, which he used to transport himself inside Bobby's nightmare. Whoa, that's a cool portal. Remember, Drew, it's just a dream. It's just a dream. Ah! I'm being attacked! Ah! Oh, never mind. Drew quickly sketched a pair of high-powered night vision goggles and searched the pitch black forest in Bobby's dream for clues. But he was stumped. Suddenly, Drew heard some loud footsteps not too far away. Halt! Who goes there? Um, it's me, Drew Pendis. Who are you? My name is Knight. Nightmare. And I am the ruler of this land upon which you are trespassing. What land? Dreamland. And what makes you think you have any right to enter? My friends and I go to cool school where everyone's always happy. But lately, everyone's been having terrible nightmares. So I hopped into this nightmare to see what was going on. Well, let me tell you, Sir Pendus, it's only a matter of time before nightmares overtake all of your precious cool school. <laughs> Tis my job to scare people with terrifying nightmares. And lately I've been working twice as hard to wipe the smiles off the faces of all those happy kids and teachers at cool school. I won't stand for all this happiness. But you can't just go around giving everyone scary nightmares. Or pretty soon all my friends will be a bunch of super sleepy scared cats. Precisely. And no one is going to stop me. Oh, we'll see about that. Drew whipped out his mighty pen ultimate and sketched a totally awesome jousting stick. Loser leaves this nightmare and never returns again. Ha! You'll be out of here in no time. And they were off, fighting and clanging and banging. Wow, jousting is no piece of cake. Wait a sec, that's it. The only way to fight nightmares is with stuff that makes you happy. These sweet yummy cupcakes should do the trick. Sweet frosting? Fluffy cake? Stop! Make it stop! I command you! I'll stop and you promise to stop scaring everyone with your nightmares. Never! Suit yourself! Nothing makes me happier than cupcakes followed by a good pizza party. There's no way Nightmare's gonna be able to fight this one off. Make it stop! But the delicious gooey pizzas just kept on coming one after the other until finally... Too much happiness I can't... <laughs> Just you wait, I'll be back with bigger and better nightmares than ever. <laughs> and they'll be right here waiting with more happy treats. Goodbye, nightmare. And then sunshine and rainbows poke through the dark, scary skies. Happy birds chirped in the trees, fuzzy bunnies leaped in the grass, and the nightmare was finally over. Well, it looks like my work here is done. Drew sketched another dream portal and jumped right back to cool school where Bobby was still sleeping, this time with a big smile on his face. 
Get some sleep, Bobby. Those nightmares won't be bothering you anymore. And Drew wouldn't be hearing from Nightmare anytime soon. I hope. Wait a second. Why didn't my dream catcher work? I should have been having nice dreams. Did you hang it by your bed like you were supposed to? Well, of course I... Wait, no! I left it in the teacher's lounge. Oh my gosh, silly Carol. I'll be sure to hang this up by my bed tonight. Moral of the story, kids. Don't forget to hang your dream catcher by your bed. But if Nightmare gets through, be sure to dream up lots of cupcakes and pizza so you can fight them off. It's time for a brand new adventure with Drew Pendus and his mighty pet ultimate. And now, Super Drew must save Halloween. There's our hero now. He stayed after school to put the finishing touches on his costume in Crafty Carol's classroom. Tonight for Halloween, I'm the famous pirate Captain Drew. Beard. Arr! It was getting dark out. Almost time to go trick or treating when an announcement came over the PA. Hello, cool school students. First, tomorrow's lunch will be Sloppy Joes and Tater Tots. And finally, some mystery villains have stolen all the candy. And therefore, Halloween is canceled. Halloween is canceled? Never! Yes, I repeat, Halloween is canceled. Drew was super duper sad. And then he was like, Wait a second, I can save Halloween. First, I'll need the nose of a basset hound to sniff out the candy. <laughs> Next, a hypno-ray to hypnotize the thief. Whoever stole the candy is gonna be hyped on sugar and probably dangerous. And finally, I'm keeping the pirate hook just cause it looks totally awesome. Go Drew, save our candy. All the would-be trick-or-treaters looked out their windows. They pouted, they cried. Halloween is supposed to be the best day of the year. They've been robbed. Never fear, Super Drew is here. Drew sniffed around with his hound dog nose to track the scent of candy. He caught a whiff of lollipops and chocolate off in the distance. The candy's in the woods. Okay, so the woods were a little scary, but the stupendous Drupendous doesn't get scared. He gets candy. Besides, it's Halloween. Halloween's supposed to be spooky, right? Ah, not that spooky, please. Oh, sorry. Suddenly a piece of candy fell from above. Hey, watch it. He looked up and he saw a giant radioactive vampire bat. There was a whole gang of bats and they had a ton of Halloween candy. All right, on the count of three, release the candy. One, two, three. I said, give me the candy and scram. No can do, kid. We need the sugar. You think it's easy being nocturnal? That means we stay up all night. I know what nocturnal means. Drew pulled out his hypno ray and he aimed it at the biggest bat. Get ready for bedtime, Mr. Nocturnal Radioactive Vampire Bat. You're about to get very sleepy. <laughs> never! Those bats had eaten way too much sugar. They were never gonna go to sleep. They were eating the candy faster than Drew had ever seen anyone eat anything. And he'd even been to a hot dog eating contest on Coney Island. 62 hot dogs? Awesome! Oh no, the bats were almost finished with the not so great candy like circus peanuts and black licorice. Then they started on the really good stuff like fun sized candy bars, giant lollipops, and sour jelly beans. They weren't even enjoying the candy. They were just sucking out the sugar and throwing the rest to the ground. That's the last straw. No one disrespects a jelly bean like that. And then Drew realized the one thing vampire bats can't stand is sunlight. So he drew a super strong arm and a lasso. The radioactive vampire bats all laughed. Oh, look at the cowboy. Go back to your farm. Then Drew swung his lasso into the sky. Got it. Oh, what'd you get, a flying cow? Nope, just the sun. The, 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 the sun? sun? Oh, hey, what's going on? Drew used his super strength to pull the sun back into the sky. He turned night into day. No, we hate the sun, no! Too bright. bright! And poof, they all turned to dust. Hasta la vista, you stinky vampire bats. Drew released the sun, grabbed the candy, and headed to town. Hey, guys, it's safe to come out. Halloween is back. <laughs> Trick or treat. Oh, what an adorable costume. Look, Harold, he's a little Superman. It's not a costume. I'm a real superhero. I just saved Halloween. 
Of course you did, dear. Oh, look at your little puppy dog nose. Why does he have a lasso and a pirate hook? I'm confused. May I just have some candy, please? Thank you. And that's how we did it, kids. Super Drew saved Halloween. The moral of the story is don't eat too much candy around vampire bats and never make fun of cowboys. <laughs>